Trump just put world leaders on notice and he is not messing around. Since President Trump was elected, he has cracked down on more than one serious issue within our country as well as other issues outside of our nation's borders that affect us all in different ways. Though, if you thought Trump was done, you would be wrong as he has set his sights on another hot-button issue that has plagued our country for years. Over the years, illegal immigrants have been busy bringing drugs across our border which has caused a massive drug epidemic in our country, and Trump is about to put a stop in. While Trump's plan to end the influx of narcotics flooding over our borders, should make Americans on both sides of aisle celebrate. However, that is hardly the case for those pro-amnesty politicians in D.C. who are busy doing their best to stop Trump from succeeding. The illegal drug trade was made more lucrative during the previous administration's push to supply more aid to countries like El Salvador and Guatemala, in the guise that it would help them to be able to afford to help us stop the shipments of drugs across our borders, and yet it seems as though all that money simply went to financing the cartels that provide the drugs in the first place. Trump is about to plant his foot firmly on the vein and staunch the flow. According to the Conservative Tribune, at a Customs and Border Protection Roundtable last week, President Donald Trump threatened countries that fail to stem the rise of drugs with the loss of aid from the United States, according to The Hill. The remarks, which took place at the Customs and Border Protection National Training Center in Virginia, highlighted the administration's battle on border security in ways unrelated to illegal immigration. I want to stop the aid. If they can't stop drugs from coming in, cause they can stop them a lot easier than us. They say, oh we can't control it. Oh great, we're supposed to control it, Trump told gathered officials, according to CNN. So we give them billions and billions of dollars, and they don't do what they're supposed to be doing, and they know that. But we're going to take a very harsh action. These countries are not our friends, Trump added. You know, we think they're our friends and we send them massive aid. I won't mention names right now, but I look at these countries, I look at the numbers we send them we send them massive aid and they're pouring drugs into our country and they're laughing at us, he continued. So I'm not a believer in that. I want to stop the aid. However, Trump seemed to name the countries later, arguing that El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico could do a better job with intercepting drugs. They're coming in they're pouring in from other El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, all over, Trump said. They're just pouring into our country. And we've stopped it, but the laws make it very tough. The remarks came in the same week as the President's State of the Union address, in which he promised to be much tougher on drug dealers and pushers. My administration is committed to fighting the drug epidemic and helping get treatment for those in need, for those who have been so terribly hurt, Trump said. However, for dealers, traffickers and the countries that make life easier for them, it's clear that the Trump administration plans to play hardball. That could be very bad news for a lot of countries, particularly ones that don't want to work with the president on border security. Trump might not have wanted to name names, but they know who they are. It is impressive to see a president pinpoint what the real issues are in our country and put a stop to them the only way he knows how which is ending the ability for these criminals to continue making money. It is past the time of allowing these illegal immigrants to continue coming into our country and selling drugs to America's citizens. The only way to slow the drug epidemic is to place stricter regulations on those who enter our nation and to stop sending funds to countries that help produce the drug epidemic on our soil. Let the Democrats balk at this move like they have all the rest. It won't stop Trump from accomplishing what he sets out to do in the end. He is the master of the art of the deal and he hasn't lost one yet.